Hey guys, it's Adi here and today I'm going to show you guys how to pin your tasks and your apps onto a bubble. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the video. So the app itself is called Pin Tasking. As the name suggests, uh, you can pin tasks and apps onto a bubble for easy switching. Uh, the app itself is free and it's still in beta in the Google Play Store. And I think the app will be free with all the pro features until the first week of June. Uh, I'm not quite sure, you can check the link that's available in the description below the like button for the latest update. So this is how the app itself looks. It has a couple of options, uh, but before jumping in detail about the options, uh, if you're running Android Lollipop 5.2 and above, you will need root access and the uh, app itself is, uh, will request you to download the system help root uh, and install it. So if it does ask you to do that, do that so that you'll be able to use this app. So before jumping into the options, so let me show you guys what the app itself does. So the main functionality of the app, as it says, is to pin the tasks and apps and switch between them quite easily. So all you have to do is pull down from the top and you can pin an app and it'll switch between two apps. So right now, uh, the pin tasking app has been pinned to one side of the screen. So when you want to go to the previous app, all you have to do is click on this pin and you're good to go. So this is how easy it is to go to the previous task with the pin tasking app. So now that I showed you guys the main functionality and what the app itself does in general, uh, let's take a look at some of the options available. The first one is called the pin style. So here you can customize the look of the pin, uh, the pin that I showed you before, the size, the distance, and uh, you can also restrict it the, from the top or the bottom. And this option is quite useful. It's, it's the auto remove option. So I keep it ticked on all the time. So when this is ticked on and you turn off the screen, all the pins, or sorry, all the tasks and apps that been pinned will be removed and if you deselect it it won't be removed when you turn off and turn on the screen back again so that is all it's all about in the pin style and the next one is called swipe pad uh, it is this blue highlighted area on your status bar from where you pull the pin down uh, but before doing that you need to make sure that it is it is uh, the in use button is turned on for this to work and auto start is quite self-explanatory and next one is called the action option in this from here you can select either to pin a task or to switch between previous tasks so if you select pin task when you pull down the pin it pins the task to the small bubble and when you click on it you go back to the task but if you select it to switch to the previous task instead of pinning the task it just switches between the tasks like so but i personally prefer to pin the current task so uh, do whatever is comfortable for you and you can change the position the height of the pin sorry uh, this the swipe pad that's this blue highlighted area you can change it from left, right, or, or center. And you can also customize an action on the home screen as you cannot pin the home screen. Uh, when you select to customize the home screen, you can uh, choose from either one of these options. So when you try to pin at the home screen, one of these options gets triggered. I personally don't like that, so I just keep it deselected. So the next option is the assist action. Uh, you can choose to either use the pin task when you swipe from bottom to uh, instead of using Google now, uh, you can also use the custom action on home screen as I showed you in the previous uh, section of the option. You can choose to open a certain task like Google Now or, or, or anything else when you try to pin a task in your home screen. So that is where the assist action comes in. So next one is the task switching and miscellaneous option. Uh, this is quite self-explanatory. You have a couple of options for task switching. Uh, you can use to, you can uh, select to either skip the window animation you can also choose to either ignore the pin task as the previous as the previous one. So when you pin a task, it will ignore this pin task as a previous one. You also have an option to uh, to run between a couple of tasks in the background when you select this. Uh, and then there is the animation speed and the haptic feedback, the vibration. So the next option is called the browser extension. So when you enable this option, it will let you pin uh, links from your browse, from the browser of your choice. So this is quite useful. So let's say you're in Google now and you're browsing through uh, Google now uh, or Google Plus, sorry, and you want to open a link. Uh, you can, instead of opening it into a different browser, you can just pin that link, and that will let you keep browsing your Google Plus while you're while you can later check this uh, link that you wanted to open, which has been pinned. So this is quite useful. Too. So later, whenever you want to check it, when you click on this bubble you can check that link that you wanted to. So this is how powerful the app can be when you give it uh, the browser extension access. It is really powerful app. And let's say whenever you don't want this bubble anymore, all you have to do is select 
drag this bubble and delete it or you can go to the settings if you want right now i'm going to delete it i really like this app for a lot of reasons one being the ease of access uh, to switch between tasks and apps with just a click on the bubble uh, i wish there was an option to pin uh, multiple tasks but i think uh, the app is still in beta and when it comes out of beta uh, i think the developer will add an option to pin multiple tasks and not just one task so this makes switching between tasks or pinning tasks really quite easy and simple uh, as always guys thank you for watching that's it for this video and be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and please be sure to share and comment on the video below uh, and tell me uh, do you use any app like this to switch between tasks or even apps if so please let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section below and if you're new to the channel guys be sure to hit the red subscribe button it would really help the channel a lot i would really appreciate it so be sure to hit the red subscribe button until next time guys this is adi here signing off